Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today is another paper art doll parade. So stay tuned and I'll show you the beauties that I have available this week. There will be a link in the description box below for where you can find these sweet paper art dolls if you're interested. They're one of a kind so first come first serve. When they're gone, they're gone. They won't be repeated. And some of you might just be here for inspiration, so maybe this will give you some ideas for some paper art dolls that you can make for your art journals or for a paper doll tree or just to tuck into a journal, anything like that, even to frame them. So hopefully these will just give you some ideas. So let's get the parade started. This little beauty is named Jessica Jester. She is a court jester that loves to do card tricks. She has little tiny, tiny cards in her hat band, feathers, little itty bitty micro buttons, a movable arm and hand. She's holding cards with a full house. She has beads and embellishments and a mixed media body. And she measures about six inches long, including the um, the paper trim at the bottom and four inches wide at the widest part and she has a ribbon hanger. So that is Jessica Jester. This one is called Queen of Hearts. She has a postage stamp face and there is a clock behind her, a crown that's adorned with pearls and gems, a very cute little bow and a lock and key charm. The Queen of Hearts was betrothed to a duke and he broke her heart but she still believes in love. So that's her story. And she measures about four and a half inches long by three inches wide with a ribbon hanger. The sweet thing is Angelica Angel. She is rocking her bear to sleep on a crescent moon. She, the bear has brown flock, so the bear is fuzzy. There are sparkly stars in the sky. The wings, I have a video on how I do these vellum wings that are dimensional and I'll uh, post a link below so you can see how I make those wings and she's just really super cute. I love this ornament, this paper doll ornament. So this is Angelica Angel. And she measures from the top of the moon to the bottom of her outfit is about four and a half inches by about three and a half inches wide on this ornament. This sweet girl is called Bees in Her Bonnet. She has bees that are on little wire springs that are bouncing off of her flowers and her hat and her hair. 
Her bonnet is all flowers. There's dimensional flowers on top. Beautiful wings. She's holding a bouquet of flowers with a bee in them. She has cute little gold and pearl shoes. Super cute. I love her little three-dimensional bees on springs. It makes her really fun and interesting. So that is bees in her bonnet. And she measures about five and a half inches long and at the widest part with her wings about three and a half inches wide. This is Maxine. Maxine has a movable arm and shoulder and she's holding a little tea cup of Earl Grey tea with a little tiny tiny tea bag. She has sparkly earrings. She has a beautiful iridescent real feather in her hat. So this is Maxine. And Maxine loves to get up in the morning and go down to the local cafe, sit and have a croissant, drink her Earl Grey, and watch people. And Maxine measures about three inches wide by about, oh, about three, just a little over three inches long. And this one is called Once Upon a Time. It has a beautiful princess, a little bit of tulle at the bottom, there are uh, gems, she has a pearl earring, three-dimensional castle, some little dimensional flowers, gold lettering, lots of detail. And this is Once Upon a Time. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. It's so pretty in person. And this one measures about five inches by about three and a half inches, roughly. And this one is called Cool Chick. She's sporty and cute with her little sassy haircut, flip haircut, and glasses that are um, shiny glasses, cool jacket, a beaded hanger, and she is a cool chick. But what people don't know is her profession is she's secretly a dog walker. This is the Tea Time Fairy. She has a teacup that is embossed to make it shiny to look like china. A cute little tea tag that says, come sit with me for a spot of tea. Three dimensional flowers. She's an original design that I drew and paper pieced. She has eyelashes and she has um, wings. These are those clear wings by Tim Holtz. She's just super cute, and that is the Tea Time Fairy. And she measures about four and a half inches by about three inches.
This is one of my favorites. I love this one. This one is named Extra Baggage. And it's a cute girl with a hat with feathers in it and dragonflies. And she's got a, a teacup in her hand or a coffee cup that's dimensional and a string of beads and she's sitting in her suitcase and it says yep I come with baggage and your point is <laughs> love that love her she's super cute so that one is called extra baggage and this one measures five inches by three and a half inches This pretty lady is Tea Time Tessa. Her skirt is made from a tipped upside down teacup and she's holding a wooden teacup with a tea tag and on one side it says time for tea, on the other side it says sweeten it with honey. She's got cute little lacy bloomers and a teapot hat and the teapot is dripping tea. And in the background, there's a table with books and a picture on the wall and some wallpaper. So this is a tag. It could go into a journal. You could tuck it into a journal um, or glue it down to an art journal page and take the, uh, take the hanger off of it. But it's so cute. It's a really pretty little, little tag with Tea Time Tessa. And she is collaged from all kinds of different images and uh, rubber stamps were used and all kinds of images to create the collage to make the paper doll. And the tag measures approximately six and a half inches and the widest part is about three and a quarter. This one obviously is Frida. This is my Frida paper doll. She has uh, lace, her lace outfit that's been hand sewn and gathered and then a black glass beaded necklace, three dimensional flowers, and this is Frida. And this one measures four inches by three, three and a half if you go all the way to the edge of the lace. And this is Lady Lovelace. She has a feathered hat with real feathers, doll hair, a triple beaded pearl necklace, a shiny porcelain coffee cup. She has little hearts in her pocket, in all her pockets. Her skirt's flying open, showing the lace underneath. And this is Lady Lovelace. She goes around and collects hearts and gives out free hugs to people who just need to be hugged. And she measures about eight inches tall by about three and a quarter inches wide. 
And because of her height, because she's kind of a little bit big, to hang as an ornament. She could be an ornament. She could hang on a door or hang on a, a wall. Um, so she could be an ornament. I haven't added a hanger to her um, and I haven't backed her with, with anything because she could be glued into a picture frame, into a journal, um, but she also could be tucked into a journal. So whoever gives her a home, if uh, someone purchases her, they can let me know how they want me to finish it off. If they want to use it as a tuck into a journal, then I'll back it with something. And if they want to use it as an ornament, then I can add a hanger to her.